Happy birthday, Thomas Jefferson. As the third president of the United States and a founding father, you are, no questions asked, an OG. But I bet you didn't know Thomas was a high-class inventor as well. Check out how far Thomas Jefferson's inventions have come in this feature, Pimp My Invention. Swivel chair. Jefferson created this for the sole purpose of writing the Declaration of Independence. A 17 day venture, I might add. Today, these twisty chairs are at a whole new level due to ergonomic chair technology, which not only allows your chair the ability to swivel, but massages and heats your back as you sit. Man, sure would have been nice for that month straight of writing, wouldn't it, Tommy? The pedometer. As one of the slimmest presidents to date, it's no wonder that Jefferson brought the pedometer into an Americanized use after getting the lowdown on it from his fitness buddies in France. Today, the most popular pedometers, like the Fitbit Zip, track steps and calories, and then and it syncs those figures to your phone. The polygraph, originally used as a copy machine, Jefferson again was the first to really promote this device. Today, its same basic mechanical function of copying stylus movements has evolved into what you know it as a lie detector machine. With the trusted leader in polygraph industry being Lafayette Instruments, they basically hold a monopoly on determining signs of guilt in legal cases and sometimes even help us to figure out whether or not you are the father. You are not the father. You know, I bet Jefferson would be so stoked to hear his copier would rise to the level of being on Maury Povich someday. The moldboard plow. Jefferson created this to help crops grow in less fertile areas. The moldboard model was considered the boss of the neighborhood for many years until the chisel plow decided to pull a Tony Soprano and become the new Don of the farmstead. While some of the old timers are still loyal to the Uncle Junior moldboard, sorry Tommy, the real boss is Tony Chisel. <laughs> Interchangeable parts for firearms. As president, Jefferson developed programs that industrialized the production of interchangeable parts for firearms. Later, this idea was expanded by Eli Whitney, and today, Jefferson's original backing has made it possible for millions of guns to be made annually in the US. Now, how's that for interchangeable parts? For Fend Attack, I'm Carly Kovac.